Hey, how you guys doing? Welcome back. This is my eighth vlog. Um, I wanted to get a vlog out today, but I couldn't. Today being yesterday, but I couldn't because the footage I recorded, all the audio got corrupted, so I couldn't use it. So I made the decision to try to make a voiceover video talking about how I was able to maintain strength and size on my cut, but that's taking a long time to edit. So I'm just gonna release that along with this. But everything's going well, all in all, I'm feeling good. Um, I did do one thing though, on Instagram, I started a broadcast channel. And in short, a broadcast channel is basically a little chat that a creator makes and they're able to uh, interact with their audience, but it's very one-sided. Only the creator could talk and the people in the chat can't. Uh, creators usually use it to just like self-promote things like, oh, here's my new YouTube channel. Oh, use my code for this company, this, that, that. But being the dumbass I am, I just shit post in there, say random things, basically talk to myself because I'm borderline schizophrenic. And one thing I brought up was fighting because uh, yesterday was the UFC fight it was uh, Pavlovich versus Aspinall and Yuri versus uh, Alex Pajeda. I won't spoil the results, but basically I brought that up because uh, I follow combat sports here and there. And I was asking what people think. You could put polls in the chat. And um, that made me think of that one time uh, some organization, I forget which one, was holding like an influencer boxing match and one of the contestants dropped out and they were looking for a quick replacement and so many people tagged me in it saying oh I want to see Alan do it I want to see Alan do it mind you this is the peak of my career social media career so nowadays people probably don't give a shit but I mentioned that to the chat you know because you know I like to just tell stories uh, someone in the chat apparently I'm not sure how true this is because I didn't respond to his DM but he said he's a promoter and he could possibly get me into, uh, I think it's called Creator Clash 3. And he was like, oh, I could probably get you in. Uh, I'll promote you. I'll handle everything. I'm just like, I didn't respond because I'm not sure if I even want to do that. Uh, but it got me thinking. I was like, damn, if they pay me a good amount of money, I would do it. How much money would it take you to participate in a boxing match? Like, everybody's, everybody would say, oh, yeah, I would do, but combat sports, boxing, any combat sport is no joke. Like, you are putting your life on the line, potentially. Not only that, but, like, you are putting your ego on the line. Imagine getting knocked out in front of millions. You know, it could be a millions in-person crowd or millions virtually. You, a lot of people are going to see you potentially get knocked out, so... All respect to fighters, you know, they're putting their life on the line and they're putting their egos on the line for the sake of entertainment. So all respect to anybody who participates. But yeah, it got me thinking. I was like, what if I do it? If they paid me a lot, I'd probably be down for it. But I thought about it. I was like, I'm not a fighter, though. I'm really not a fighter. I'm just a lifter. I like to stay in place, squat, bench and deadlift, move in one plane of motion. Uh, I used to be pretty athletic when I was like younger, 16 to 18 years old, but now I'm, all I do is lift. Like You could be athletic and lift, but if you don't keep up with your athleticism, then you're just not going to be athletic. It's as simple as that. All right, I'm going to show you guys why I'm a lifter and not a fighter or boxer. I'm going to shadow box for you guys. How does this work? This is, I think this is the orthodox stance. Like that. Ooh, little, little jab. Ooh, ooh. One, two, three. Ooh, let's see if I could be light on my feet. That's one thing. You gotta be light on your feet. Hands up, hands up. Ooh. Let's see if I could do it quicker. Oh, I'm so good at this. Uh, since I got shorter arms, you know, maybe I should do the Mike Tyson peekaboo. Ooh. 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 Oh my god. That's one thing about fighting or boxing. You really don't have to be strong to be a good fighter. You could, I bet you some of the best fighters struggle to bench 180. I could bench twice as much as that, but those fighters could knock me the fuck out within a second. You don't have to be strong. Boxing is more of a sport of skill. And me being out of breath, shadow boxing like shit for like 10 seconds shows that uh, cardio is really important too. You really don't need to be strong. 
for striking. Being strong is good, but at the end of the day, I think, I don't know, I'm not a fighter, but it seems like skill is a lot more important and precision, of course. I would say strength is more important in like grappling sports. It's way easier to overpower someone in a grappling sport. Let's see, uh, I found my jump rope, but um, this is a weighted jump rope. So I don't know how applicable it is to regular jump rope, but uh, let's see how light on my feet I am. I've not jumped rope in like maybe 10 years. So forgive me, so forgive me. <coughs> oh, this isn't bad. Ooh, am I a boxer yet? Let's see if I can do it. Oh, I can't do one leg. Wait, 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 I got one leg. Let's see if I can, oh, I can't skip. One more time. I'm doing it. Oh. I have no coordination. I have no footwork. I would get knocked the fuck out. Okay, I'm done embarrassing myself. Let's get to uh, my lifting. I got deadlifts. I wanna get to 395 for five sets of five, which would be a PR, and I'd be very happy with it because I'm this close to doing 405 for five sets of five. Let's go. So much easier than boxing. I get to let my aggression out without getting my ass kicked. Sex appeal and thumbnail, I'm taking the shirt off. Let's go. Easy. That's too easy. See, the reason why I'm not a boxer is because I love lifting. And weights will not knock me the fuck out. <laughs> but yeah, one thing I really thought about is if, like, let's say they do pay a good amount and 
they do give me a good amount of time to train and get good at this thing, boxing. I would have to give up lifting overall. And lifting has been a huge part of my passion, hobby, identity for over 10 years. I don't know if I could ever give up lifting like that. But if I were to train for another sport, I would at least strength train, lift heavy for like 30 minutes a day at least. Ooh, so you just saw me do 395 for five sets of five on deadlift. I'm very proud of that. It's a big PR for me. I started this program that I wrote for myself about seven or eight weeks ago. On the first week, I did 345 for five sets of five, and I have marked down that. It wasn't the easiest. My best ever before that was 355 for five sets of five, I think. So this is a 40 pound all time PR before this whole new program. I did 385 for five sets of five last week. So technically 10 pound all time PR, but before this program, this would be a 40 pound all time PR. So that's very big for me. I'm also this close to doing 405 on deadlifts for rep work, volume work. And I'm very happy with that because in the past, I always made excuses saying that, oh, my arms are so short, that affects my positioning, and thus my low back takes a huge hit. I'm just not good at conventional deadlifting. Hence, I always did sumo. I was very good at sumo. My sumo was maybe like 150 pounds. Sometimes it could have been 200 pounds greater than my conventional. But a year ago, like I said in previous video, stop making excuses. I don't care how short my arms are. I don't care how weak my back is. I'm going to get great at conventional deadlifting. Lo and behold, here I am. Slowly but surely, I'm getting better at conventional deadlifts. But to backtrack to the boxing talk or fighting talk, hey, if you guys want to watch me do some sparring content or like maybe even rolling around in jujitsu, wrestling, maybe I could do it. I'm a complete beginner, so uh, I wouldn't say it's embarrassing. I would have to practice some humility. Um, of course, I wouldn't, I don't think I have a big ego. I wouldn't go in the gym and be like, hey, I'm bigger than you. Therefore, I'm going to kick your ass and try to overpower you. I'm not Bradley Martin. I'd beat the f out of you in the street. No, no, no I'm no, too no. I said. Yeah, if you guys are interested in that, maybe, maybe one day I can do that. But for now, this is going to be the end of the video. I know I usually show everything else. Today I got hammer curls, wrist curls, and abs. But I'm probably going to, well, I'm not going to show it this video because I want to experiment with uh, shorter vlogs. I don't think people even watch me do the more boring stuff. So I don't want to release a 30 minute video, have it have a uh, average of retaining five minutes of view time. And YouTube algor algorithm sees that 25 minutes is not viewed by almost everybody. That does not look good and they won't push my video out. And as much as I don't want to care about views, views are what determines my success on YouTube. So I have to care about it. It's just the unfortunate truth. But that's gonna be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good night. I love you guys.